a wicked shrapnel. And I just got something in the mail today. It's the Avenger. So let's take a look at this thing. Where are you going, buddy? Come. Every time I start talking loud like that and announcing and being, I don't know, it scares him. It's already running away. See ya. See ya, Sheldon. You did a good tape job on this thing. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Read this stuff if you want to dominate the battlefield with the Avenger. No. All right, I was supposed to have multiples of these. Looks like I got one, one for now. But it, there was a buy two, get one free. So I bought two, I'm supposed to get one free. So this is like an attachment that goes on your controller. So let's see how easy it is to do it. Dee -dee -dee. All right, there we go. So this is just a standard Xbox controller. Put it on, and I got my robot cleaning my house, if you happen to hear that. I just made a little robot video to show. What the heck? Why is that not covering? It's getting, it's getting something. If it don't fit, force it. Yeah! <laughs> so, it adds these little extra tentacles. So, you could do tension with these. Let me see. Why is that going there? Pull this out. Put it in a little strappy doodle. And it, pardon me, John Stewart. So this can add tension to the triggers to make it like more of a hair trigger. And you can pull the triggers by just doing that, which would be weird. And I've seen some uh, reviews of these that just say it's. It's hard to get used to, but once you get used to it, it, it can give you an advantage of just being able to react quicker. And so here for the B button, you just have to move your thumb up or, or just lift your finger up. And then these, you can just lift your finger off the triggers for X, Y, and I'm not sure about B here. That doesn't, I guess you just move your finger like that. See, it's, I'm trying to show them stuff, man. So, I'm gonna try this out, and I've heard people say that it takes a while to like get used to it, so it might be a couple weeks until I can really tell you if I, if I like it. That's on, you could adjust the tension too with these little screws. Screw it down so that it hits the button sooner. And I think these were originally designed for like people that had limited mobility of their hands to be able to game without moving their hands a lot. But to be able to game without moving your hands a lot is good for any gamer just to be able to you know, do that for a reload instead of taking your thumb off the thumbstick. So your finger, the idea is you can keep your thumbs on the thumbstick at all time and be able to press all the buttons. And you could still use these triggers and it extends the triggers, which could be good, or you could just, have to, I think you could just do this. So you could just have your hands underneath and, and squeeze like that. So there are some instructions and probably some tips. And this says important in big red letters. It says, the Avenger may look like a rugged beast, and it is! Thank you very much, but this bad boy is also a sophisticated precision instrument. Time to take practice... Take time to practice each function. I can't read! <laughs> While keeping your fingers on the analog sticks, and experiment with each accessory. You can also change the button configuration on your game to complement the Avenger's button layout. Play for keeps, baby. 
No Mercy. Uh, so it comes with these little adhesive stickers too. So if you put them on your left button and right button, it extends the reach. I don't know what they mean by that. Place the caps closer to the outer edges. Now you can hit the buttons even faster. Uh, so I guess it's saying you put these little foam sticky pads on the bumper buttons like so. Bumper. And bumper. Oh man, I can totally tell. Totally. No, I can't. <laughs> what else? The, the Avenger comes equipped with the stabilizer stand tension straps and trigger skis. Grab a small screwdriver and remove any of these accessories if they get in your way. So you can, I guess, remove the ones that you don't want. If you just wanted to use the regular triggers, keep this, you can remove it. And looks like you can remove any of these as well so you can customize it to how you want it. And what else? The B button rocker is optional. Players with larger or smaller hands may utilize the rocker for added comfort. Looks like I'm, I screwed that down too far. It's already pushing the button. You basically want to get it so you can barely barely tap it and and you'll hit it. But that does that doesn't seem natural to me. It says for the best results, place the middle joint of your index finger at the base of the rocker. Uh, so I guess it's like that. But that eh no does not compute. Access the B button with a slight twitch of the finger. Now you can scope, zoom, crouch, and shoot in style. Whoa, man. Gnarly. So this is at AvengerController.com. And I guess you can go to AvengerController.com slash get started and learn how to use this crazy contraption. So I'm going to try it out. And I'll, I'll post a follow-up video. Maybe at the same time I post a follow-up video of my PX5, so I'll do it all in one shot. Let you guys know what I think of it. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.